Let's do a quick example with our basic vocab. Okay, so let's suppose I have just a question. Uh, so maybe I'm an entomologist and I am interested in um, the physics of flight of dragonflies, let's say. All right, so my question could be is like, what is the surface area of dragonfly wings? Oops, well, close enough. I'll put a hyphen there. Dragonfly wings. All right, so that is my question, and we can get out a couple of things right here um, from for what we're actually discussing with our basic vocab. Now, usually it's not just, we're not looking at just the surface area of dragonfly wings, because we know it's not the same for every single dragonfly. What the real question is, is what is the average? Average average surface area of dragonfly wings. Okay, so let's first of all, let's try to figure out what would our population be. So our population would be dragonfly wings. All right, that's what we're interested in. We're interested in the average surface area of a dragonfly wings. Okay, great. So what is our parameter? Okay, the parameter of interest is the true average average surface area. Okay, now practically speaking, it is not practical to go all throughout the world, capture all the dragonflies, measure their surface area, and take, a, take an average of that. That's practically what we would do, um, but like or that that's how you would actually go through and do it, but practically it's very hard to go do that. So we need to take a sample. So we could do here just a random sample. Sample of dragonflies. Okay, and then our statistic would be average surface area area of wings of the sample. Okay, so there we go. So we've got our population, we've got our parameter, we've got our sample, and our statistic. All right, so let's try to also grab what is our variable then. This would be the surface area of a single dragonfly. And last but not least, the data would be the list of measurements from the sample. Okay, so knowing these uh, these vocabulary terms are going to help us as we are trying to identify like what do we have and what are we after and it'll also help us to understand the relationships. Like ultimately we're trying to make some statements usually about the population. It's hard for us to actually go and measure an entire population. So what we do is we grab a sample and we take measurements of the individual members. So we, our variable would be the surface area. We go measure of the individual, um, individual measures or individual members of the sample compile it into the data, and then from that data, we can take an average quite easily, find our statistics so that we can have some sense of what is happening with the population.